In Delaware County, the district attorney's office says it will charge a 17-year-old as an adult after he allegedly shot his classmate in the face. A dispute, police say, over $150 an ounce of marijuana. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden joins us live from Haverford with the very latest on this investigation. Joe? Good evening, James McCauley went before a judge just within the last half hour. We are waiting word on if he was granted bail or made bail. He does face a count of attempted homicide, but some people with him had a different take on the case and they made that known to our cameras. In the blink of an eye, two lives changed forever. This is 17 year old James McCauley on his way in for arraignment on a charge of attempted homicide. Self Apparent family members telling us the whole scenario was self-defense. It's a you know, scary situation that happened there last night. Visibly frustrated, police and prosecutors admit falling short in explaining what happened in Havertown on Tuesday night. Any kind of weapons offense, especially with a shooting just for $150 for a small amount of marijuana is, is extremely, extremely troubling for all of us. Marquise Mays and some friends met up with James McCauley and his friends. The two go to Haverford High School. They got into McCauley's Lincoln, parked at Glengarry Drive in Rose Tree Lane. There to buy an ounce of marijuana, something went wrong. Police say McCauley shot Mays, a Haverford High football player, right in the face. Neighbors like Jim Romano can't make sense of it. When we were kids, you know, you, you got in a fist fight, an hour later it was over and you were talking again. You know, it, it, the way things have changed today, it, it's really sad. Mays remains in critical condition with a bullet lodged in his neck. Investigators say the gun allegedly used by McCauley was reported stolen from a Havertown residence several months ago. Since his arrest, we're told McCauley has been uncooperative with detectives. Glen Gary Drive neighbors remain stunned. I kind of just don't know how to process it right now, like what, what happened. And we are told that aside from McCauley also being uncooperative, he tried to conceal the gun from detectives. He was picked up on his way to school this morning, arrested right on his front steps. Again, unknown right now if he will make bail. Our Greg Argos is following this story for Eyewitness News at 11. Reporting live outside Haverford Township Police, Joe Holton, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Joe. Police